Hi beginners, Mrs. Flowers here. We are going to take a moment to learn how to set up our musictheory.net website so that we can start practicing our note names on the music staff. So once you've selected the link in the email that I sent you to this exact website, there are a couple of things that you need to set up. So let's get started. First, I want you to go up to the right hand corner and select this gear. And once you select that, a whole menu would then be presented to us. We're going to go ahead into the very first selection called clefs. If you play the violin, the only clef that you would want to have selected is treble clef. If you play the cello or bass, you would want bass clef. And if you play the viola, you would want to have alto clef. I'm going to leave it on alto clef for just a moment for our, my viola friends. If you go into this next selection called range, it's either going to say treble, bass, or alto range. Go ahead and select on that. And when you open it, it's going to look something like that. What you're going to need to do is take your bottom note and bring it all the way up to the third space, one, two, three. That represents open D. And this one right here has two ledger lines and you want it to look just like that. That is high D, so two ledger lines above the music staff. But let's say you don't play the viola. Let's go back in here and unselect alto and go ahead and select bass. Let's say you play the cello or the bass. What is your range going to look like? So when you first open it, it might look something like that. You want to take this bottom note here, drag it all the way up to the middle line. That represents open D. And you want to take your top note and bring it down one note. That is represents high D. So you'll notice it has only one ledger line. So for our violin players, let's go ahead and select our treble clef. And let's go back to this treble range. Again, when you open it up first off, it's going to be something like that. So you want to take your very first note and you want to drag it up to the note that rests right below the music staff, that is open D. And you want to take this top note and drag it down to the fourth line from the bottom, one, two, three, four, and that is high D. All other customizations you're going to leave. You're not going to change anything below here. Um, there is one possibility at the very bottom that um, I can show you about the challenge mode, and we'll do that in just a minute. But everything else we're going to leave as is. So to get rid of this menu, you're just going to click someplace else on the screen, and you'll notice I've got a note there waiting for me and some options here at the bottom. So I just want to go ahead and figure out what note that is and make my selection. And when you get it right, it plays the tone and it also turns green. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's do another one. By the way, this is a C. Now, please notice that there's no sharp next to it. So we've set this up so that it's not going to have a little sharp before the C or the F. So when you're selecting your note, you don't want to select C-sharp because watch this, we'll get it wrong. It turned red. We know it's wrong. So we're going to go ahead and select the correct one. It's just C. And now we know we got it right. That, my friends, is open D. So we're going to select open D. And that's what it looks like, again, when you get it right. And again, this is what it looks like when you select something incorrect. That's a high D, but I'm going to select B by mistake. And you'll notice that it's telling you it's not right, it's red. So you want to con continue to figure out what is correct, and you've got your high D. Okay. Violas, cellos, basses, keep in mind that this is treble clef right now, and I'm showing this for our violin friends. Um, you would also, of course, do the same with your own clef. Now, let me go ahead in here, back to my gear, go all the way down to challenge mode. Let's just take a look at that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a time limit of, say, one minute, and I'm going to give myself 10 questions, say. And I'm going to not select multiple attempts. So that's a little bit more challenging. I'm going to click off of the menu somewhere else on the screen just to get rid of the menu. And then I'm going to se select Start Challenge. And I have one minute to answer all of these questions.
So let's see what happens when I select the wrong one. So the next one, I'm going to, that's a high D. I'm going to select B. Aha, it turned red, but then it moved on to the next question. I do not get another attempt, and it has been marked wrong. Let's do another wrong one just to see what happens. So that's a, a C, by the way. Let's do C sharp by mistake. All right, so then you get this report. You want to view the report, or you can do start another challenge. So I got 8 out of 10 correct. That's 80%, and I did it in 31 seconds. So it times you. You could also time out. Let's say you run out of time. The quiz will stop. So let's take a look at the report. You could, if you wanted to show me your score, you could put in here, you could sign yourself in, okay? You're not Mrs. Flowers, though. You put in your name. Go ahead and copy the link, and then you could paste that in an email. So you can copy the link right there, paste it in an email, and send it to me. And I would get a notification what your score is and see how you're improving. This is a great tool to practice your note names. So I'm going to send you that email with that link and keep that email handy So or bookmark the page. Um, and then you can practice. If you have further questions, go ahead and please email me. If not, good luck.